Hi, welcome back to SHW. We are finally back on the LX470 uh, SAS project. And we started back really, like seriously, dude, you're gonna be like squeaking the door while I'm videoing here. I see how it is. Hi, welcome back to SHW. We are finally back on the 100 series solid axle swap and I am extremely excited. We actually got all the pieces cut out last night on the Langmeyer Systems plasma cutter. That has made this just incredibly easier. We went ahead last night and started welding on the truss. The top plate's just laying there and we're gonna be welding more on the axle today. And hopefully within the next couple of days, we got this axle hanging. So we're up against a little bit of a deadline so there won't be a whole lot of talking in this video. It's gonna be more just us cutting, welding and getting mounted. <music> who you met in the last video has also been working. He is going to get the uh, correct tubing. I ordered the wrong tubing for our cross member and he's gonna be drilling and fabricating that all up. It's gonna be all hands on deck. It is day three on the uh, fabrication part of the front suspension. And I'll show you this piece that I just got in. This is the cross member that goes in the stock location for the transfer case support. And I have been working for a day and a half on this. Um, the extra half day was because I welded these on backwards and got it all painted up and everything with them on facing the wrong direction. We got the transfer case mount, the frame mount, and this is going to be the support for our rear links. Now the only thing that is left is to weld on the upper link mount. I've got a fish plate I'm going to be putting on and then welding the mount to that fish plate. And then we will start fitting the axle so we can locate the shock towers. Hey YouTube, I'm on day three or four or ten, I can't remember. But uh, today I've been working on adding fish plates to either side of the frame here and tacking in the shock towers. 12 inch ories in the front, 14s in the back. Gotta move this reservoir, it's not gonna mount where it's at right now, but I'm liking how everything's turning out here. I've got everything placed where I want it. is a continuation of a, the video you've been watching of us doing the front sass or if this is another video so I apologize. So we've got the front all mocked up. We don't have the steering um, on there yet it's just literally just the front ends hung. So now we're working on the rear end. I could have just kept the 100 series axle on the back but since I was wanting to do long arms anyway and I had the front and rear locking axle from the 80s I thought it'd be better to keep matching axles than to have mixed matched. I'm having to notch the frame to be able to fit the ORIs up into the tub. I've already got the passenger side notched, and now I'm going to be notching the driver's side the same way. I'm basically putting a piece of quarter inch wall 2 by 8 across the back, and then using a piece of 3 16th to make a fish plate that follows the contour in with a bunch of plug welds. So I'll bring you along for the driver's side and show you what I'm doing. We got the old spring perch out of there. We're going to make a template. I'm going to put a piece of two by six quarter inch wall up in here and scab this together before I cut the frame out. So it is the next day. Uh, yesterday we got all of the old spring tower support and everything cut out and we uh, templated for our new frame member that we're going to put in. I've got it cut out from the bandsaw. We're just going to uh, try to shape it to fit. Then we'll weld it in and get ready to cut the frame. Our 
right, so we got the frame notch. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and figure out what my fish plate needs to be. And then I'll take this and I'll put it in CAD, cut it out on the plasma cutter, and we'll bend it with the brake and weld it in here. I've got the 3D scanner, but for something this simple, it's just not worth the time that the 3D scanner takes. So I just cut out this 3 16 inch fish plate on the plasma cutter. The Langmire Crossfire Pro has just been amazing. It has changed the workflow in my shop and I'm hoping that this brake does the same. So I'm going to uh, get ready to run an air hose to the brake and see if I can't get this done. Well now I've got both sides of the frames notched in and ready for the ORIs. Now I've got to go back to the design table and design some strut towers that'll work with this so I can get my ORIs up in there and have the most amount of droop that I can have. I'm going to be cutting up into my fender wells and I'll have the shock towers go right up to underneath the wings on my drawer system in the back. That's going to be it for this video. We'll see you next time.